keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a two-way mid-range point forward, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, is like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. So first and foremost, left or right-handed, it doesn't really matter. I just like going left-handed because I'm left-handed in real life, man. So um, height, we're gonna go 6'6", 215 with a 6'11 wingspan. You wanna go just 6'11", um, the reason being is because like we're trying to get that um, good um, mid-range shot but again I think theoretically what you could do is go seven foot two right you could go seven foot two as I'm looking at everything let's go seven foot two I want to have a longer wingspan so let's do seven foot two so we'll go seven foot two um, 215 pounds um, and then we will go six six all right then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go on our speed we're gonna go 81 on our speed um, and then again, this is more so for that speed booster. Then we're gonna go 75 on our acceleration. This is to get our, um, really to get our triple strike on go, right? We're from that triple threat. Um, our strength, our strength, we're going up to 70. Um, this is gonna be more so for our clamps, our fearless finisher, etc. We wanna go 70. Then we're gonna go 75 on our vert. And then we're gonna go ahead and go 95 on our stamina, okay? So for the most part, our physicals are pretty much clear cut dry, like what you expect, okay? Um, driving layup, you already know the vibes, man. We're going 80, all right? We're going 80 on that driving layup. Um, layups are really, really strong this year, so you want to make sure you can get that timing down. With Pro Touch Hall of Fame, it really is going to help you out a lot. Big green windows. Um, and again, every single time you go to the basket and press square or use Pro Stick doesn't guarantee a dunk. So if you get a layup animation, it's good to have Pro Touch Hall of Fame, all right? Um, driving dunk, we're going 75 on that driving dunk. Uh, 65 to 75 gives you really good dunk animation. So you want to try to hit somewhere in between there if you're not going to have contact dunks. So we're not having contact dunks with this, so we're going to do that. Um, and then, again, you're still going to get that slithery on silver. You get area wizard on gold. You get spin cycle on gold and two-stepper on gold. You get bunnies on silver, though, okay? And then we're going to go 45 on our standing dunk. Now, by going 45 on the standing dunk, it gives you all those basic standing dunk animations. So you're able to get those good dunk animations right under the rim. Standing dunks are strong, so you got to at least have that. Like, if you have a build without a 45 standing dunk, you're tripping. Like, to be honest with you, doesn't make any sense, especially how strong dunks are this year. Standing dunks are this year, okay? Mid-range shot, we're going 90 on our mid-range. Um, by going 90, as you see, you get to open looks, Hall of Fame, and Dead Eye on gold. Hall of Fame open looks is really, really good this year. Um, and I say this year, this is the first year of the bash, but to be wide open and to have a boost for that makes sense, okay? So if you can get a Hall of Fame, do that. Um, by having the 87, I mean, 87 or higher, you are able to get Tracy McGrady um, base, which is the better base in the game. So you are able to really get the best jumper on the game also. Which that being said, that's why you only need a 76 three ball, right? Going up higher does not benefit you, okay? Going up higher does not benefit you. Get to 76, give you that corner special silver and that sil and that bronze um, 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 agent threes. With the 76, with that 90 mid range with the good um, with the T Mac base, you're going to hit your three pointers every single time you're open. You want to hit them. So like, there's no need to reach, right? There's no need to go crazy on a three point shot, all right? Then you want to go 80 on your free throw to be get the free points on silver. This is a strong rec build, okay? This can be really strong point guard primary ball handler secondary ball handler type guard build so in the rec you should have a lot of fun get the free points because the ability to get to the basket you should begin to the free throw line frequently okay um then we're gonna go 89 on our pass accuracy this is going to get us Halliburton passing style which is really cool but also the big thing here is that you're going to be able to get dimer and relay passer on gold um again Go dimer, Hall of Fame dimer, shoot the bigger the better, right? Some people in your team have a hard time shooting, they pass it to me. Or if they or if someone passes it to you and then you pass it to someone else and then they pass it to somebody else, guess what? Your relay passer gives that person a boost. So again, there is benefits here. 
so that's the reason why we're going to 89 we want the good passing style but you also get some really good badges of course you also get needle threader on silver which again helps out tremendously with people cheating trying to play the paint in the corner so that's gonna be huge then on our ball handle we're going 88 on our ball handle this basically since you're over six um five you're not gonna be able to get all the elite dribble animations anyway so 88 to me has always been the sweeter spot unless you're trying to get unpluckable and hannah for days on gold right but again shoot man people are making six eight bills and have these on silver like i just don't see the, the need for it but again if you really want to get those elite dribble animations you might as well go under six five right that's where the most benefit comes at but if you're gonna be six six which gives you more attributes to make you know more um balanced builds then guess what just go ahead and stay with 88 all right then we're gonna go 77 with the speed with ball um, again, 77 gives us triple strike on, on gold. I spoke about how strong that is and why it's important. But then also now you have 75 over, so you're able to get like Zach Levine, Kevin Durant, um, um, Magic Johnson, even though they did nerf Magic Johnson. They, they nerfed Magic Johnson dribble style, so just keep that in mind. But regardless, they're still one of the upper tier dribble styles. So regardless, the playmaking is going to be good. So playmaking, shooting, and finishing is solid. Now we'll come up here to the defense, and as you see up here, we're going 88 on that defense. Now, by going 88, you get that fast feet, I mean, a 94 feet on gold, so you're able to push, press up the court, which is going to be big. You get challenger on gold, workhorse on gold, off-ball pass on gold is very important. Get very bumpy. Just be able to play those passing lanes. I think that's going to be very comp. And then, of course, we're going to go 72 on the steel. That gives you glove, right stick, ripper, and interceptor all on bronze. So for the most part, you're able to play the passing lanes. You're able to get those timely steals. If your power forward or the center tries to dribble on you, you can get the passing lane. That's big still because you get the animation. If you don't have bronze interceptor, guess what? You don't get the, the actual um, passing lane still. So in my opinion, this is the best way to, to make the um, um, this two-way mid-range. But again, like I said, you have some um, um, options here. As you see right here, you can drop this down from 70 get this down to a 63 and then again like i said man there's not much here you can go 72 but i'm just letting you know there's different things you can do you can go 88 here right if you want to get this up you can go 79 right there um you see what else we can do standing dunk can go from a 45 you can get that to a 71 heck maybe that might be the best bet to be honest with you because you could go let me see actually when i'm messing around here let me see if i can mess around and get if i want to get a 75 standing dunk nah we can go we can just keep it there um 71 but as you can see um i dropped my strength strength from a 70 to a 63 because there was nothing there and um now i'm able to get more bang for my buck out of there um just trying to check and see is anything else that we could work through to get anything um the only thing i can think of is dropping my relay passer down the only thing reason why we can go 75 going 75 standing dunk will give you Giannis dunk packages so that's something to keep in mind but regardless you know like i dare do i just dropped my strength from a 63 to a 70 and went from a 45 to a 71 standing just you know just to be able to help that out even more um so and again i think i got um if i wanted to get um fast feet, i think it's like a 73 yeah 73 standing and then i need a a, a 72 standing dunk for rise up around so again i don't want to cookie cut you you can you can add some things move some things around to be able to get that standing dunk higher if you wanted to okay but regardless it's still a solid build and a two-way mid-range point forward is a very rare build that is extremely playable so you know at the end of the day that's all we're here for man just try to find rare builds that can really compete and this is definitely one that does that so let me know in the comment section what you think about the build what would you change differently but other than that it's your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with the banger man you know when i say back soon with the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out